2020 Democrats are honing in on health care, with most proposing a complete overhaul of the current system. Health care is a basic human right. The American people are sick and tired of a dysfunctional health care system in which over 80 million Americans are uninsured. I support Medicare for all. Let's have a system where we have everyone having access as a right and not a privilege of just those who can afford it. But the new numbers show the current health care system is covering 90, 90 percent of Americans. So why do Democrats keep pushing for Medicare for all? Here to weigh in is health care expert Seth Denson. Seth, thanks for joining us this morning. So is lack of coverage really the main issue or are Democrats sort of off base on their messaging? No, Democrats are way off base. Matter of fact, more Americans are covered right now than have been in the last 30 years. So it's not an issue of coverage. It is, however, an issue of cost, something which the Democrats don't really want to address, the cost of the health care system. Rather, they just want to take an expensive system and give it away for free. Let's take a look at the numbers. 90% of Americans had health care coverage in 2018. That's just last year. 9.4% uninsured, and it seems the entire discussion goes to those individuals. But I think you'd agree with me. There is a major difference between health insurance and health care, especially when the real discussion should be about health costs. Do you agree? I couldn't agree more. As a matter of fact, as you're looking at the way the system operates, most Americans unfortunately do link the two together and think of them as one, but they're not. And, and the Trump administration, what I'm glad to see, is actually trying to do something to drive down the cost of health care. What the Affordable Care Act did, let's remember, that's the Democratic original plan. It tried to just boost up health insurance. But that's like me saying I'm giving you a better interest rate on your credit card, but I'm not handling your spending habits. We must drive down the cost of health care if we want health insurance premiums to go down as well. All right. So yesterday, Bernie Sanders talked about Medicare for all once again, and he revealed that it's not going to be as affordable as he originally may have led people to believe. Take a listen. People will be paying, in, in some cases, more in taxes, but the overall, they'll be paying less for their health care. Obviously, health care is not free. If Bernie Sanders is elected president, what sort of changes should everyday Americans expect to see under Medicare for all? Well, complete change. I mean, let's, let's be very clear. This isn't Medicare at all. It's single payer health care. They're using the term Medicare because it's good in marketing because most Americans like Medicare, which gives people choice of doctors, people choice of plans. All of that goes out the window. And finally, Bernie's admitting that his plan is going to cost a lot of money. Americans will see higher taxes. That's going to impact the economy. That's going to impact the innovation side of health care. Everything about health care will change under a single payer system. Yeah. And quickly, in the 15 seconds we have remaining, you say you like what Alex Azar and the White House House are doing when it comes to approaching this problem going forward. Why? That's right. In a free market system which drives innovation, you need the consumer to have information. Alex Azar and President Trump have been fighting for transparency, lower prescription costs, giving the consumer the tools to be better consumers. That's what's going to drive down health care costs in America. All right. Well, there's um, two big debates coming up later this week. I'm sure that health care is going to be a big topic of conversation coming up. Seth, we appreciate it. Thanks so much.